long forgotten place by Mulonia. Initially published for the Super Famicom in 1994, Live Alive was one of many Square RPGs released during the 16-bit era. However, unlike Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, or Secret of Mana, the original Live Alive never made its way outside of Japan. Instead, its reputation has been kept alive by a cult following of dedicated fans who became enamored with intriguing aspects like its multi-scenario story. Now, 28 years later, Square Enix is bringing the revered classic back with an all-new remake for Switch. Despite the original coming out nearly three decades ago, Live Alive still manages to stand out as a charming adventure. Over here! As a remake, this version of Live Alive is very faithful to the original in terms of content, focusing on modernizing the game for a new era rather than delivering something completely new or unexpected. Right off the bat, the most noticeable upgrade is the gorgeous HD 2D visual art style that Square's been using in recent years. Character sprites look crisp and clean, and the 3D environments add a great layer of depth to the world. Yoko Shimomura's score also receives some nice new renditions that sound great and help set the mood for each location. While Live Alive's presentation is great, what helps it stand out among its contemporaries is how differently its story is structured. Instead of having one main character and setting, you play as several different characters scattered across time, all with their own individual tales. While playing as multiple characters isn't anything new, the scenarios are more unconventional than most JRPGs, such as playing as a gunslinger in the Wild West, a ninja in the Edo period of Japan, and a monk in ancient China. You can also tackle most of them in any order you want, giving you a lot of flexibility. Some scenarios can be more demanding than others, though, if you're not experienced with the game's systems and combat just yet. Along with aesthetic differences, each campaign plays and feels very different from the rest. For example, the western chapter revolves around you defending a small town from bandits and helping the townsfolk set up traps. In contrast, in ancient China, you play as an old monk who recruits and trains students. Our favorite of the bunch is the Japanese segment, in which your ninja is sent out to infiltrate a giant castle full of secret rooms and doors to unlock, feeling almost like something out of a Metroidvania. You're also given some flexibility on how you want to handle encounters by either cutting down everyone in your path or using stealth to avoid enemies and uncover passwords to get into places more easily. Though some sections are weaker than others, like the mostly story-focused Far Future segment, each part has a distinct and interesting premise. Most segments never exceed three or four hours either, so if you're not feeling one, it thankfully won't overstay its welcome. The fires I command. In terms of combat, Live Alive is very straightforward. Encounters are turn-based and take place on a grid where you move units to deal or dodge attacks. There isn't any build variety or way to customize your characters outside of very basic equipment, but you do learn new and unique moves for each character, helping them stand out from the rest. Combat remains fairly standard throughout the game, but it does introduce some simple things to mix it up, such as the ability to interrupt attacks or the need to avoid tiles with harmful status effects. It may not be too deep or complex, but it's solid overall. Even the most mighty can be restrained. A full playthrough comes in a little over 20 hours, which feels appropriate for what Live Alive has in store. Things can drag a little here and there, but most of the game moves at a good pace. If you're looking for more to do, though, you can replay chapters, fight extra bosses, and go for all the different endings available. There's also a jukebox in the menu that unlocks songs as you progress if you can't get enough of those sweet tunes. Live Alive is a delightful little RPG that's thankfully gotten the second chance it deserves. Its new visuals look great, and the rearranged soundtrack brings each time frame to life. However, its multi-scenario story is what makes it truly stand out. Though the quality varies between chapters, they're all interesting in their own ways, and it's worth seeing through to the very end. Bet you scare easy. Easy as hell! Final score, 8 out of 10. Want to get more of our thoughts on games beyond reviews? Check out our Frame Trap podcast every other week with deep dive discussions on what we're currently playing. Everything we do is made possible by generous viewers just like you. Check out patreon.com slash easyallies to help us make more. How much for one?